Finally tonight, many people have come to New York over the years in search of fortune. It is not true that the streets are paved with gold, but the sidewalks might be. Steve Hartman introduces us to an urban prospector in tonight's Assignment America. Sometimes, in tough times, people think up the craziest ideas for making money. Take, for example, this 43-year-old unemployed jewelry setter. His name is Rafi Stepanian, and when it comes to harebrained business plans, Rafi takes the gold. You're like a prospector. Exactly, exactly, a prospector looking for placer deposits. A placer deposit is anywhere gold tends to settle, like the cracks and crevices of a mountain stream. But this isn't where Rafi's looking. Last month, he started looking for gold in the cracks and crevices of 47th Street in Midtown Manhattan. Rafi is thoroughly convinced there's gold in them there expansion joints. It's been in there for years. I mean, it's embedded in there. He's mining 47th Street specifically because this is New York's jewelry district. Rafi says jewelry manufacturing, especially in the old days, produced a lot of little gold flakes. And he says some of those flakes had to end up on the workers' feet, which he assumes then got transferred to the sidewalk and eventually washed into the cracks. To some of his former colleagues and co-workers, it's a ridiculous theory and a pathetic sight seeing Rafi on his hands and knees like this. This is absolutely a humbling experience, yet ultimately in the end, we all have to endure a little humility in order to achieve success. So far, he has collected more than 35 pounds of sidewalk gunk. Let's go. And is just now starting to sift through it all in his garage. Watch what's gonna come out of here now. It'll take weeks to know exactly what he's got here, but I can already tell you this. There you go. His theory. There's your gold. Does pan out. See it? So far, Rafi says he's collected about $800 worth. But what's even more astounding, turns out these sidewalks are paved with more than just gold. That's a princess cut diamond? There are diamonds. Diamonds by the dozen. Rubies, sapphires. It's mostly small stuff, probably dropped by dealers and customers. Nothing worth more than about 60 bucks, but it adds up and it's a living. I'm independent and I'm doing this on my own. And the reward is phenomenal. Indeed, there may never be a more phenomenal discovery. Until someday, when somebody does the next logical thing. <gasps> I just dropped it. And mines Rafi's garage. Easy come, easy go. Steve Hartman, CBS News, New York. Another Hartman gem. That's the CBS Evening News for tonight. I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, good night.